Greetings, you know primos have an ass. Don't worry, same here. Oh my god, bro. Welcome to the complete updated free-to-play guide to farming primo gems so that you can have enough for when Arlequino comes out. I know that's who you're saving for. Don't lie, I am too. But with this video, you and I will turn into a primo gem billionaire so that we can sacrifice everything for our future wants and needs. So let's get into it. Starting off with the basics, dailies. Now you already know this, you do your dailies, you get primo gems. Instead of just telling what you already know, let me just remind you to not skip a day. It's that easy. Just do your dailies, get them done as daily as possible, and you will accumulate a good amount over time. So get them done. Moving on to world exploration, doing this actually adds into your daily so that you don't actually have to do quests. You could just do world exploration while getting your dailies done. Easy peasy, right? But anyway, world exploration is very good. You can do a lot of stuff and get a lot of primo gems. You do challenges, you do puzzles, and that equals chess, baby. And there's plenty of exploring to do. Okay, just look at me. I'm a little bit behind, you could say. While you're exploring, you can go ahead and collect waypoints that you don't have. Just look at me. I have a shit ton, bro. Another thing you could do while exploring is collect oculi, and you can put these into your statues of seven. These, of course, will give you rewards. And guess what one of those rewards are? Primal gems, baby. So yeah, collecting oculisms is very nice. And another thing that you get while exploring, collecting chests and whatnot, you get these tokens for each region. Now these tokens can be put into their own tree or statue to gain more rewards. For example, there's a fountain in Fontaine that you can get rewards from. I probably shouldn't disturb them. Okay, why are people talking? I'm not sure, but come over to this fountain. God damn it. Well, I guess this is a quick reminder to uh, complete any story quests that you haven't done. You know, those give primo gems as well. Now I'm going to have to wait to show you this goddamn fountain. Wait, wait, no, I see what's going on here. Wait, no, no, don't take me. No. How long is this part, bro? Let me out. Let me out. Here at the fountain, you can collect many, many rewards. Now, among these beautiful rewards are fates, and especially intertwined fates. Now, they're not in the form of primo gems, but same difference, right? Very nice, collecting tokens while you're world exploring, and you put them in here and you get rewarded for it. Very awesome, very nice. Similar to the fountain in Fontaine, we got the Sumeru tree. Now, this is unlocked by doing the extremely long Aranara quest line, but it's very worth it because you get primo gems doing that too. Same deal as the fountain. You can get loads of fates in here and other stuff. Very, very nice. Another similar tree is in Inazuma. Now this one can give you a buttload of fates and rewards as well. Now there's even more trees, but you don't actually get these by using tokens. Instead, you get them using some other stuff. In Dragon Spine, you have a tree here that can give you two intertwined fates. Not a lot, but very worth it. You actually use crystals to level this one up. In the Chasm, same thing, crystals. In the Underground Mine, you get this little thingy. Not sure exactly what it is, but it's a little thingy. Can get two intertwined fates just like dragon spy and another one that i would like to mention is the amrita pool you can unlock this in the newest desert region in sumeru now you're gonna have to search up this quest line because i don't remember which one it was but in any case this one can give you up to 600 primo gems it's very nice very goddamn nice and it took me a while to even figure out this was a thing i'm sure there might be a couple of you finding out this is a thing too so yeah get it done it's worth it now one thing that you can get from your statues or these region rewards are these keys for shrines now you can find these shrines anywhere in the region I don't have a new one to unlock, so uh, yeah, you're just gonna have to pretend that I'm unlocking it. But these will also give you, I do believe, 40 Primo Gems each. So yeah, very nice. Make sure you get those shrines. If you don't know where they are, just look at the Genshin Impact interactive map. It's very useful, trust me. Another thing you can do is domains that reward you with Primo Gems. Now these aren't your farming domains like talent books or artifacts, and you can find a lot. There's a lot in Sumeru. For some reason, there's not any in Fontaine or the newest Liwa area. In any case, you can discover them 
for five primo gems and then you can beat it for 50 primo gems very good now while we're still on the topic of exploration and stuff you can come across world quests be sure to do these some of these are very long but they give a lot of primo gems very boring at some point but just pop in some music maybe sit in discord with the boys or girls whoever you are and just get these world quests done very chill now, one of these world quests that you can do is actually in Sarai Island. The quest you want to do is Sarai Storm Chasers Part 1. Afterwards, you'll unlock this cat. This goofy aw cat. Huh? Now, what's so special about this cat? Basically, if you talk to it, it'll give you a little commission to do and it'll give you 20 primo gems. Now, these are daily. They have a limit. I don't know exactly how much but it can come in handy, all right? This cat is very generous. More quests that you can do to get Primo Gems are hangout events. I do offer quite a bit of Primo Gems, especially if you get all the endings, it's very nice. They did kind of make this faster with this patch. You now can skip dialogue that you've already seen. So it makes getting all the endings very nice, so get those awesome primos. Again, story and Archon quests are really good to do too, especially Archon quests because you can actually earn an intertwined fate for each Archon quest that you complete, so if you're behind on those, I highly recommend you get through them because it's worth it. Events are probably the most primo gem giving things in Genshin, so the best way to do it is whenever they're around, complete them. Don't wait, because soon you might accidentally just forget about them. I've done it before, and I'm sad. So yeah, get them done. Other ways to earn Primo Gems are achievements. Getting achievements mostly happen organically, but honestly, if you go into Achievement Hunter mode, you could probably get a lot done. Honestly, there are even some achievements that you can get through co-op, so be sure to do that. I mean, you first gotta get you a friend, but should be fun times. I'd like to mention the Adventurer's Handbook. Most of us do have this completed, but if you don't, highly suggest you do this and you can get some more Primo Gems there. Very nice. Now let's move on to the one thing that a lot of you probably have not done, and that's the teapot. Firstly, getting your teapot trust rank up is very nice. Not only do you get some stuff that you can buy in the depot, but you can get Primo Gems just by ranking up. Now, another thing that you would want to do in the teapot is actually making furnishing sets for your characters. Now, there's a shit ton of characters, so you could get a shit ton of Primo Gems. And that's goddamn nice. You may not like the teapot, but you're gonna like it now. I urge you to try and double down on the teapot as much as you can to at least start doing furnishings. I'm gonna start doing this because there's a lot of furnishings that I'm missing. Moving on to the Spyro Abyss. It doesn't matter if you can or can't beat this. Just do what you can and get what you can. A Primo Gem's a Primo Gem. Anything is better than nothing. So do not stress yourself out just because you do not 36 star this, all right? Just get the Primo Gems you can. And another thing, please don't forget to claim your Primo Gems after you do this. I've done it once or twice and I hate myself. Another nice way to get Primo Gems is redemption codes. Some might not work, some might, but they can give Primo Gems. More specifically, you want to watch out for the ones that are live stream codes. These usually happen near the end of the patch. Yeah, just keep an eye out for when that happens. They'll give out 300 Primo Gems within the codes. Another way to get pulls is Stardust and Star Glitter. These, of course, can buy you intertwined fates. And it's nice. And there's a monthly rotation of them too that you can buy. So make sure you buy those before they refresh. You could be like me, just throw in some standard pulls if you have them, and then you'll get that star glitter. Now, outside the game, you can actually do a daily check in on Hoyle Lab that will give you 60 Primo gems per month. Yeah, that sounds like ass because it is, but that's 60 Primo gems more than what you would have, okay? Am I gonna do this? No. Are you gonna do this? Maybe. I don't know but I'm throwing it out there, so do it if you want. Another outsider way is stream drops. If you look here, you can get some Primo Gems by watching a streamer, but you have to be watching them for about two hours, and you gotta make sure your Genshin stuff is linked as well. Now, I would say you can watch me stream, but I'm pretty inconsistent, so just find some person streaming Genshin, doesn't matter who. They'll probably have drops in their title, so look out for those, and yeah, plop their stream up, do some world exploration, and you're good. You're good. Now, last but most definitely least, 
the TCG, the card game. Now, if you're like me, you haven't touched this at all since it came out, but if you rank up in it, you can get Primo Gems. And the reason why this is last on the list because the TCG sucks. I'm just keeping it real. I hate this game mode, but for those who love it, you may already have this maxed out, but if not, keep doing it. Keep doing your thing. Anyway, those are all my known ways to getting Primo Gems. If I forgot any ways to get Primo Gems, please comment down below. I hope this has helped and may we all save enough for our desired character or weapon or both. So yeah, again, hope this video helped. A like and subscribe would be appreciated because in fact, most of you are not subscribed. Now, if you could subscribe, I would love you. I, would I mean, I love you already, but like, I'd love you a little bit more. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Goodbye. Oh, there it is.